Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to do is introduce you to how we go about finding particular areas inside polar curves. For instance, suppose we were asked to find the following areas. This one is the total area within the curve, and this one is the area just of one loop. Now, to find these areas, we should be familiar with the area of a sector. If we've got a sector with a radius r and we've got an angle here, theta, then the area of the sector is given by a half r squared theta, where theta is measured in radians. Now, it's a simple extension of this idea when it comes to working out areas bounded by a curve, something like this, where you've got our curve and you've got two lines coming from the pole here. Let's just label that as the pole. And they make an angle of alpha and angle of beta respectively. So if you're trying to find this shaded area, it's almost as if we're doing an infinite summation of areas like this. Well, it turns out, and this is given without proof, it turns out that the area given here is equal to half of the integral of r squared with respect to theta, integrated between the limits alpha and beta. So you can see there is a slight resemblance then to this formula that we've got up here. Now, when it comes to finding the area within this cardioid, we've got to apply our formula here, half times the integral of r squared integrated with respect to theta. But the limits, well, those limits are going to be from 0 to 2 pi. Because we start at the initial line here, where theta equals 0, and then we work our way around the curve until theta equals 2 pi. Remember, these are in radians. And all I'd need to do next is to substitute r as a times all of 1 plus cos theta, square it out, and then integrate the terms. I'm not going to do that in this particular video. I actually do this in a later video. When it comes to this one here, r equals a cos 3 theta, if I want to find the area of this loop here, then again, it's going to be my integral, half the integral of r squared with respect to theta, but the limits will be these half lines from here and here. And it can be shown that those half lines are at angles of minus pi upon 6 radians and pi upon 6 radians. So when it comes to working out the area of the one loop, it's going to be equal to a half the integral of r squared with respect to theta going between minus pi upon 6 to pi upon 6 radians. We just simply substitute r squared into here and then carry out the integral. But again, I'm not going to do this in this particular video. This is just an introduction to show you how we go about this. It's also worth pointing out that if we had to find the area of the whole figure, the area then of all three loops, then all I need to do is multiply this answer by 3, as they are all exactly the same. Now in my other videos in this series, what I'll be doing is going into more detail of the integral part. So, as I say, I hope that's been of some use to you, and that you'll go on to look at the other videos then in this series.